Now, let us welcome the fifth speaker. He is Mr. Seita Shirabe from Doshisha University. He will deliver the speech under the title of Hate, 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 Hate. Then, Mr. Shirabe, please come up to the center of the stage. Thank you, Mr. Person, and honorable judges, and a questioner. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All around the street is filled with the hatred. Specific people there are scared as hell. Here's one of the street corners in Japan. On the street, a bunch of people is shouting hatred words like this. Get out of our country, dirty Koreans. Cockroaches, kill all Koreans. This is a fact that happens in Japanese society. And this hateful act is what we call hate speech. Hate speech is a kind of speech that threatens insults a minority group and promotes violence against them on the basis of gender, national origin, or ethnicity. I could never allow any kind of hate speech. But today, based on my personal experience, I'm going to talk about, especially on the hate speech against Koreans living in Japan, with the de desire that my speech will be the trigger to eliminate any other hate speech in Japan. Through my speech, I want to remove hate speech against Koreans living in Japan. Here is the important trigger why a derivative speech. This is a story that one of my Korean friends who had confronted the hate speech demonstration. He said, when I faced the demonstration, I felt really sad because they abused my inner nationality, which I cannot change. I was really confused to hear this story because it was the first time that I noticed hate speech actually hurts people around me. Even though they live in Japan like we Japanese, the life is close to the scare. I came to feel anger against this situation. In fact, nowadays in Japan, there exists a lot of hate speech. According to the organization, International Network to Overcome Hate Speech and Racism, around 150 underground demonstrations occurred in 2014. One in five Koreans living in Japan have experienced it. But in fact, the number is actually a lot higher as it doesn't increase the number of hate speech on the internet. When taking these figures into account, it is clear that racism is overflowing in Japanese society and it creates more victims. The victims of hate speech can be divided into two groups. The first group is the Koreans living in Japan. They are emotionally wounded. My friend, who I mentioned at the beginning, is one of the victims. Actually, according to a book, What is Hate Speech? Hate speech seriously affects mental health and causes them to suffer PTSD. What is worse, there are some people who even commit suicide because of that. The other victim is the Japanese. The foreigners are criticizing us as hate speakers. Actually, we Japanese are criticized by a lot of foreign media, such as the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and The Economist. In fact, one of my foreign friends said, I have told you Japanese are racists because of many reports of hate speech. This talk is not only against me, but also against all of you here. Well, why had such shameful act been expounded? It's because the lack of education of what the Koreans in Japan are. Actually, 
the history textbooks in elementary and junior high schools don't contain any articles about that. Because of this, non-educated people come to believe the incorrect historical view made about hate speakers. And finally, come to be a part of hate speakers for some reason that is not clear. We have to break this hateful process. Therefore, to eliminate hate speech, I'd like to suggest to the Ministry of Education that teachers should teach the history of Koreans in Japan because it will help clear up the misunderstanding of them. Actually, the history classes in Germany devotes much time to the cruel history of the Jews, not to cause hate speech like the past time. As a result, in German society, the laws regulate the speeches that are denying Holocaust and discriminating races are accepted naturally by citizens, according to a book, How Germany Has Been Facing in the Past. Therefore, hating hate speech seems perfectly natural to Germans. And actually, the United Nations Commission on Human Rights has demanded that Japan should also teach the history of Koreans in Japan to students, not to cause hate speech. So, Japan should do that. There are two points for children that should be educated. First, the reason why there are many Koreans living in Japan. As a matter of fact, the Japanese brought many Koreans to Japan by military force because of the former colonial policy. Second, the history of discrimination. The Koreans who had been forced to live in Japan were discriminated in many ways, such as marriage, job hunting, moving, and also mass slaughter in the Kanto area in 1923. Koreans in Japan have these cruel histories. These are really controversial topics, so teachers should teach them having discussions between the students in order to promote the students' comprehension. Indeed, in Germany, there are a lot of discussions between in the history classes when they deal with the topic of Jews. By doing this, it will surely make us realize that hate speech is just stupid misunderstanding and become to hate hate speech like in Germany. Speech. It's a unique item with great potential that can change the world in both positive ways and negative ways. But as a speaker who sincerely believes the power of speeches, I could never overlook any speeches which hurts people seriously. I could never allow any kind of hatred expressions, including hate speech against Koreans. Audience, I guess you too feel like that. I hope one day that everyone will hate hate speech. Thank you for listening. Then, we will have question and answer session for four minutes. Mr. Tamara, please. Okay, Seita-san, how are you? Um, a little bit nervous. Nervous? <laughs> Still nervous? Yeah, but, uh, but it's very happy to uh, do the primary speech in the Okuma Auditorium. Great. All right. Uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts about hate speech. The first question is, have you ever thought about the reason why People yeah. make hate speeches. Mm. It's uh, it, the cause is the uh, I I don't know why, but it, it, it's the the main cause is that uh, the hate speaker use use hate speech as a breakthrough of their stories. Breakthrough. Um, so they um breakthrough. Oh, how can I say? Um, so they have stress and to. Um, so, uh, breakthrough, um, yeah. Okay, they want to express yeah. their f but by, yeah. feelings or frustration? Yeah. Okay. Do they know the history of Korea? Korea, um, you mean the Koreans in Japan? Yeah, do or? they know that, you know, there is a fact that 
those Korean people living in Japan were forced to, you know, to be brought mm -hmm. to Japan a long mm -hmm. time ago. Do mm -hmm. they know the fact? And the hate speakers. Mm. Um, according to, um, actually, um, I have read the book of, uh, that was wrote by the, uh, written by the um, hate speakers. Um, I, I think it's, uh, it, it's incorrect, they have the incorrect history view. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Such as the Koreans in, Koreans in Japan have the special privilege and something like that. Where do you draw the line between the freedom of speech and mm. hate speech? Yeah, uh, it's, it's really difficult. So, um, it's, it's really difficult, but um, I, I think the, um, I think, uh, I, I can't decide it, but so, so, the, so the regulation law is, uh, is wrong because the, it, it's really difficult to decide the line of between hate, uh, hate speech and the freedom of expression. Do you think that you can completely eliminate hate speeches? Um, I hope so, but it's not real, I think. All right, okay. Um, you're talking about a German yeah. um, law. Why is that that the German people could face the past and the Japanese people couldn't? Um, because uh, the Germany has, uh, Germany have, uh, the politics in Germany was, uh, um, sorry, the, the, uh, the, the U.S. forced to uh, educate about that, mm. so. Okay. okay, I see. But, but, yeah. All right. Okay, here is your last question. The last question is your opportunity to make a one-minute speech. And this is the opportunity to repeat your message, okay? The question is this. Okay, I'm going to argue, and I want you to argue against this statement. Japan should not make laws against hate speech because it is the violation of the freedom of expression and it's unconstitutional. What do you say? Um. There are another reasons for, for me to, uh, to um, hate, hate the regulation law because um, if the Japanese government established it, um, who, who judges, who, who judge the hate, hate, um, hate speech, who, who judge the expression, hate, uh, whether hate speech is hate speech or not? I mean, the government, government authority uh, shouldn't judge the ex uh, such expression, whether hate, hate speech or not, because uh, if if we accept it, the Japanese government to, can uh, can regulate the any other demonstrations such as the anti-government demonstrations and nuclear weapon demonstrations uh, and so on. So, so I strongly uh, against this uh, regulation law. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, but the time is over. Thank you, Mr. Tamara and Mr. Shirabe.